Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition. Alrighty, when we left off, uh, we had been, well, we had been trying to expand into our own territory, including clearing out some enemies that had been sitting there for a while, and we're going to eventually clear out that one. But, for the time being, the issue for now is trying to expand into the territory that we didn't pick up yet. We're going too soon. And I also noticed that the war between the Spuxalak and Commonwealth of Man seems to be going poorly for our buddies, which is weird. I didn't expect it to go bad for them. But... In the meantime, we also have the debris being researched, and then eventually we can open the L-Gate. But I'm not sure if we want to do that now. So we'll wait, probably until all of this is taken care of, and uh, go from there. Alright, so we have them rejoining their... Fleet. Battle debris secured. Hmm. And we just gotta wait for the influence to go up far enough to keep getting more of these <laughs> little systems under our heel, for lack of a better phrase. Um, Science division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, I'll get to that in a second. Let's get them started on getting Nedum, maybe. No? Maybe Brius. Yeah. Alright. Almost forgot. Almost forgot about that. So what did we get? We got the advanced cruiser hulls. Perfect. So let's move on to... Mineral Isolation? might be a good idea Adva I was about to screw up that word advanced spectrometry 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 oh my god that is a word advanced spectrometry wow uh, combines with fracking techniques and chemical flushing to rapidly exploit shallow and mid death mid depth deposits Mid-death deposits. Yeah, that's how that works. Alright, let's go do that. Clear it out of the way. More death. Starbase is now finished. As far as I will let it. Beautiful. And that's going to keep happening. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. What's this about? The neutron launchers. Perfect. Alright. Uh, in that case, what's the next weapon I should focus on? Yeah, mining drone lasers are cheap. Get that done and over with. Why not? System reconnaissance completed. Hey, it's all done. How about that? And they are doing nothing. Let me check which planets don't have... anyone sitting over them. Uh, Camelot, Dawnlight, Aurora, Acropolis. Uh, hmm. Probably easier to do it this way now that I think about it. But at the time, you know, wasn't really thinking about it. Uh, let's see. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I'm not entirely sure I was correct in that assumption. <laughs> Alright, um... Kerbal, no. There's no... thing in Kerbal at all. Okay, well, my brain is broken. <laughs> I'm just going to say that now, my brain is broken. 
Uh, maybe Beham. Ah, there we go. There we go. See? I knew I could get there eventually. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Plesma Syndicate declared war on the Sutherian entity. All right, well, we'll see if the Sutherian entity lasts or not. Probably not, let's be honest here. All right. And we're just waiting for one of these conflicts to be over. Science Division reports Ooh. a new breakthrough. Psionic theory completed. Beautiful. Hmm. What should I go with? Genetic resequencing. Honestly, I think that's the winner right there. That's the last thing I need to do the whole evolutionary path stuff that I was intending on. No longer will we be limited by the basic biological structure of a species when striving to improve them. DNA is just another material to be shaped as the sculptor wills it. Allows us to remove beneficial traits, add detrimental traits, and alter pop appearance when modifying a species, and also unlocks advanced traits. Hells yeah. Let's do it. So it'll take a little bit, but we'll get there. No worries on that. They're going to get done soon. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Of course it is. Hey! Finally done with the mining drone lasers. Using strong focus lenses in combination with an oscillating firing frequency helps create lasers strong enough to mine asteroids or shoot down hostiles. All right, beautiful. Um, let's go with synchronized defenses. Aligning defensive and offensive weapon execution paradigms allows for increased efficiency. Powerful supercomputer coordinating the relative orbit and firing arcs of the Starbase's defensive platforms, increasing the number of defensive platforms that can be supported. Even better. Perfect. Let's do that. Construction and complete. We're done. So we work them on the mining and research stations. Admiral gains a trait. Nice. Following following. Her recent sensor sweep of the Yal Basque system, Admiral Ciceri, is, it, is that necessary to pronounce both S's? Ciceri Isanda has learned how to deploy her units to maximize their sensor range. Few fleet commanders possess the skill to carry out such complex maneuvers. Alrighty. Good to hear. Whoop. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Oh, yeah? All right, that's finished. Good. Titans would be nice. Titans would be very nice. But I'm starting to think replicator kiosks might be good. These kiosks can replace any pre-approved object if its pattern has been stored within its memory banks. I don't see why not. Hmm. Let me see how many I got of these. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> I am getting a lot of... <laughs> a lot of exotic gases. Let me tell you. Okay, I can't go that much further can put more into the cell pile. That's good. I'll do that instead. That way I can bring in a little extra more money. Oh, come on. There. Okay. Happy? You happy now? Jeez. Uh, don't need that. 
Huh. Hmm. I guess I could just sell a few. Like that. There we go. Just need to bring that down a little more. Construction complete. And done. Beautiful. Uh, let's move on then to that one, which was the most high value target out of all of them. Alright. Let's check on the planets, eh? Ooh, just in time, too. Aurora popped one of these. So let's do... Energy grid would be a good idea. I don't see why not. And how's the population going? Oh. Not very many. <laughs> Taking up jobs at this point. Okay. Well. If that's the case. I won't worry about that then. <laughs> I was going to build more districts. But that's not a good idea. When there's no reason to. Alright. I guess we do have to bring a new one on, but we have one with a spark of genius. We see all of them have spark of genius, technically. Huh. Well, we'll put him on the ship until we have need of him on one of the other research tracks. And then get back to assisting research. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's been an honor, Alejandro Solano. Alejandro Solano, rather. My brain. <laughs> My brain didn't read the entire word and assumed it read enough of it. Alright. Construction complete. And then we build all of those stations. Just noticed I missed that as I was going to take a drink. Again. That is literally the second time. <laughs> okay, um, let's go with Durasteel Laced Alloys. That would be pretty good. By replacing antiquated Ceramo metal equipment with cutting edge technology, we can run our forges hotter and longer, increasing production. Even better to me. All right. It is not a relic. It is an antique. Just think. It survived this many centuries already. Built to last. What can you offer us? Look. This metal. It moves. It flows. It reconstructs. We have found many uses for it. We are certain you shall too. 40 living metal for 55 rare crystals. Sure. A pleasure, a joy to deal with the Empire Felony. We will visit again. Right, okay. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, the resolution passed. Beautiful. I was hoping it would. Yep, the Spuxalak are still in trouble. <laughs> Spuxalak really overdid it. Ugh. They shouldn't have killed the Tianki matriarch. That was on them. That is their fault. Alright. Integrated gardens. Eh. I'll stay abstaining for now. Alrighty. Okay, they are perfect. Okay. Fantastic. I'm curious. Did I add... 
I did. I did add the battleship. Okay, cool. The ship's refitted. And I don't have anything more than that. Perfect. The Imperial Strike Force is now fully upgraded. Beautiful. Good to hear. Good to hear. Uh, let's bring you back to the EM station. And... Yeah, we'll call that good. And now I could probably keep bringing this up. Which would be nice. Probably a good idea. Okay. It's almost done over there. And just in time for them to be able to do another starbase. Interesting. Perfectly timed, in fact. Almost. Okay. Well, looks like the fight doesn't go that well for the uh, Commonwealth of Man. Ah. Oh. The agreement we signed giving you access to our databanks has run its course. Well, yeah, let's extend the deal. Why not? Beautiful. I'd love it. Okay. What? A diplomatic communication from the Commonwealth of Man. You will forgive me if I dim my display, Phelan. I simply cannot stand to look at your nauseating appearance. Ah. Ah. I see. I understand. Yeah, we're helping them. Science <laughs> we're helping them reports the a new breakthrough. We're helping the Spuxalac in this war. You done... You done fucked it. Commonwealth of Man. You done fucked it. Alright. Uh, predictive consumerism. Uh, using advanced AIs, we can reliably predict consumer demand before it exists. Boy, that'd be nice. If that was possible. I doubt it. Because so far, it is not being proven. <laughs> Alright. Let's go help them retake that before they continue their push inwards. Oh. Ha ha ha. Uh... Okay. Huh. We can now use the expropriation Casus Belli against the Polysimus Syndicate. Um. The Polysimus Syndicate has established a new branch office. Huh. Interesting. Didn't, uh, didn't expect that. The expropriation? Never knew that was a Construction thing. Construction complete. I never knew that, that was actually a thing. Spuck select, no. 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 Dude. They're the fanatic xenophile. What are you doing, Spuck select? What in the hell are you doing? No! You know what? You know what? 
I think. Must be at peace. Okay. Must be at peace. Fine. Envoy Brooklyn Burnside has died. Oh. It's been an honor. Alright. The Numistic Order. Okay, let's see what they got. Artifacts. Nah. Don't need artifacts. Let's see. Can I sell these for a higher price again? Yes, I can. Beautiful. All right. <sighs> okay, free warriors. Felon weaklings, our warriors are on our on their way to plunder your systems. Face them in battle if you can muster the courage, or cower in fear until they have had their fill of your riches. You can, of course, offer tribute now to spare yourself from the coming onslaught. If it is sufficient, our warriors may be compelled to turn back. Sure, fine. A pity! I suppose our warriors will have to look elsewhere for entertainment then. Your people are safe, for the moment at least. You know, that voice doesn't really match the face that much, does it? Nah. Your people are safe, for the moment at least. <laughs> that doesn't work either. I don't know. I'll figure that out. I'll figure it out later. <laughs> Alright. And they're voting on reverence for life. Interesting. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Interesting. I will continue voting for it. Durasteel laced alloys. Perfect. Done. Uh, neutronium metals would be nice, but I think finishing out the engineering research upgrades would be better. Ow, I hit my headset with my hand, trying to scratch my back. Ow. Hurt both my ear and my hand. <laughs> the study of superfluidity promises to marry quantum mechanics with the fundamental interaction of gravity. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do it then. Why not? Perfect. They're almost done here. Okay. More Commonwealth of Man is arrival. Okay. Cool. More of that. Fair enough. In a little bit, I'll be able to get Science them started on a new this Starbase. Predictive consumerism finished. Nice. Um hmm. Let's go with gateway activation. Might as well get it done and over with. The ability to reactivate the derelict gateway stations that can be found scattered throughout the galaxy has the potential to dramatically shorten travel times. Well, that's good enough reason for me. And now I can get them started on the next starbase. Ha ha! Awesome. Alrighty. Ox Cleary, I still can't get to yet. I'm pretty sure I'll have to explain, uh, explain, explore the Mestros uh, location, and also, you know, make sure to get it in my systems first. 
get it within my empire. <laughs> because it clearly isn't in there yet. I thought it was. That's why I was confused. Ow. Well, so much for my uh, ships getting there in time. All right. Oh, I see. That's what they're doing now. Ah. Now Lan Zheng has gained the scout trait. Nice. Good. Very nice. Huh. That's... That's not a good idea. Why did you think that was a good idea? Oi. They're better. At least better than what your pathing was prior. Construction complete. Jesus. Alright. It's done there. Beautiful. Then. Continue on with making the mining stations and research stations. Get it set up for moi. Oop. Okay. Didn't realize it got that full over there. Yeesh. Alright, and now uh, we can get that. Sell that a little bit. Sell that a little bit. Maybe not that much. Okay, I think we should be fine, though. And... Once again, you're going to have to dip that down a little bit. Just a little. Just a little bit. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Perfect. All right. Let's go with the selected lineages trait. No, no, no. I think I have a better idea. I just don't know if that better idea is actually true or not. No, it's, there's no. There's no better idea. That's good. It's good the way it is. Uh, there is also new proposal. A whole bunch of new proposals from the look of it. Jesus. No, 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 no. None of these. Not getting rid of any of those. That is definitely the good next one. But, uh, nope. Rejecting all of those. Good enough for me. Huh. I'm gonna buy some alloys. Probably for the best. To make sure I get this reinforced as far as I possibly can. Let's check out... Oh, the planets are already way too far ahead. Yeesh. And there's not enough... There's not enough houses for all the jobs. Oh, boy. Um... Uh-oh. Not do that. And instead, replace that. That's a good idea, I think. Yeah. We'll just leave that alone for now. Dawn light. Eh. What should we do with dawn light? Hmm. Let's do a Ministry of Production. That should be good. Helps out a little bit there. And then Acropolis. Let's build an energy grid. Good. Uh oh. Don't know who that was. Governor Prakti Makon. Oh no. Let's go with Kyauhei, a bureaucrat. 
Hmm. Might help a little, considering it's on Felon Day. And that's where a good portion of my administrative parks are. Yeah, should be fine. And then... This is a luxury residence. I can make this a dome, which would also be additional housing. It's been an honor. Oh, the Spuxalac, I will kick you from our damn group. I will kick you from our entire damn federation if you do not stop. All right. Engaging enemy station. Nice. Now there is Camelots. Their population is eh, spread out enough. I don't think I need to make more districts yet. Um, gene clinics. Yeah, let's do that. Get that taken care of. Do I have a uh, industry production that I can put down? Should. Oh, I can't until the planetary capital is made. Okay. Science division reports a new that. breakthrough. Okay, I'll wait a little bit then. I'll wait on that. Superfluid metals, beautiful. So let's finish up the advanced mineral purification. And then that's all of the cheap ones out of the way. Second stage processing of pseudo-refined minerals blah, allow for more efficient storage and transportation. Can't complain about that. Scum and villainy on Felon Day. Crime continues to be a problem on Felon Day and an extensive criminal underworld has now taken root on the moon. Some areas have descended into lawlessness or have been taken over completely by criminal organizations. This is intolerable. Absolutely intolerable. How... How the hell? How the hell? Uh, well... time, I think, to put an enforcer house down. Precinct houses, there we go. Since when did that start? Alright. A tradition we can put into prosperity. Let's go with the building upkeep and district upkeep reduced. It's always nice. A little more materials freed up. Always good. Cool. Construction Still wait complete. On those to be finished. Okay. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Selected lineages. Careful reproductive planning should be incentivized, lest we waste valuable genetic legacies. Well, that sounds... bad <laughs> in that phrasing. But it's, you know, not a terrible idea. Okay, local hypercommunication. Not all research into faster-than-light communication channels produces useful results, but some outcomes may find new purpose in bringing our people together. Pretty good idea. Let's go with it. Huh. My throat is starting to give out on me. <laughs> I apologize. Hmm. I accidentally did that when I didn't mean to. The Sutherian entity broke off their non-aggression pact with the Commonwealth of Man. Interesting. Interesting indeed.
All right. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Didn't expect that. Okay, a white piece was offered. Huh. <laughs> Wowzers. Spuxalak took a lot of territory from Commonwealth of Man. They got their butts handed to them. Yeesh. All right. Well, let's go into Whirlwind Missiles. That's pretty good. New miniaturization techniques will allow us to equip Swarmer missiles with more powerful warm he warheads. I was about to say warm heads. That's... <laughs> and improved flight performance. Interesting. Let's do it. I don't see why not. Substance abuse increases. Come on! Following in the wake of the rising crime on Felon Day, drug abuse among the population has increased significantly in recent times. The use of illegal narcotics has spread well beyond the moon's criminal underworld and now affects all walks of life. <sighs> Science Division reports a new breakthrough. That is annoying. Okay. Space-time theory. Three dimensions, inextricable from the fourth. Hmm. Let's go into that, see how that turns out. Since that will increase physics research. Always a good idea. Oh boy. Uh, of course. Um, not what I wanted to do. I wanted to send you back. Cool. And let's look at you. Where are you? You're done there. Which means you're going to work there next. Perfect. All right. Oh, uh, boy. All right. Okay, well. Said it was on the moon. Huh. Wait, I'm... I just realized I'm a moon of Truitt. <laughs> so, technically, I am... I, Felon Day, am the moon. Oh, boy. Commonwealth of Man. Okay. I've gone through that song and dance again. Alright. Construction complete. Let's see if we can get a leader with righteousness going on. Probably not. So far, nothing. Fuck. Okay. Well. That's done. Good. Wow, that was quick. Alright, let's get to making those stations. And then you move on to getting this done. That's good enough plan for me. The reverence for life passed. I forget what was that. Uh, reverence for life is in rules of war. Cuts down the diplomatic weight from fleet power. And... Hmm. Increases the defense army morale. Purging other than displacement and the use of world crackers is banned. Interesting. Okay. Okay. That's fair. Okay. Call that good. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Oh. Nice. Perfect. Um, galactic markets would be nice. By engaging in free trade of goods and services, we allow for a more specialized economy, where an individual can excel in a narrow field and trade for their needs. 
Yeah, sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Pretty good, I'd say. Yeah. All right. Governor is leveling up. Fantastic. All right. And it's done, which means I can post the thing I wanted to. That. Fantastic. And that's good. <sighs> Yay! It's going down. It's at 20% now. If only we could keep knocking that down further by having a righteous governor. The sleeper awakes. The recent destruction of one of their large void dwellings at the hands of the Spuxalak Star Nation have prompted the Hifnar to unite under a single great Khan for the first time in history. This mysterious warlord, who according to some accounts is a powerful psychic, has convinced the Hifnar to put aside their differences for the sake of continued survival. Interesting. Very interesting. Great war fleets from previously hidden anchorages are being crewed by eager Hifnar warriors and restored into working order. Under the inspired leadership of their great Khan, they now demand vengeance from a galaxy for their lost kin. From the galaxy for their lost kin, a new threat is born. I am Etha, daughter of Enim, great Khan of the Hifnar Horde, and I am here to announce to the galaxy that a new age is upon us. The dark era where Hifnar would senselessly butcher one another for scraps of resources or a misguided sense of honor have finally come to an end. I have solemnly promised my people a new bargaining through the formation of a great empire. Great beginning, rather. I can't read. <laughs> through the formation of a great empire that will forever enshrine the name of the Hifnar species to the annals of the galactic history. To those who would stand in our way, know this. I will stop at nothing to realize the true destiny of my people. If you oppose us, the Hithna Horde will grind you into dust. Strong words. Let's see if you can live up to them. The Hithna Free Warriors. Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised that it was the Spuxalak that pissed them off? It's always the Spuxalak being a stupid asshole, isn't it? It's always the Spuxalak. This is why I'm going to kick them out. This is why I'm going to do that. Ah, oh boy. Alright. What is on the proposal list now? Ban the sentient slave trade. It is regrettable that our previous resolution left a loophole for the sale of sentient mechanical organisms. We should rectify this mistake and ban the trade of all sentience on the galactic market. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with that. I'll support that. Absolutely. Alright, and the Spuxalak. The Yeon votes now. If only. If only. The Yeon would see that they're going to screw our Federation if they're allowed to continue acting the way they are. <sighs> and I'm dropping frames because something's off of my computer. Give me a bit, folks. Okay. Not sure what was up with the computer, but it's done now. And quite frankly, it's also the end of the episode, more or less. So, it's done here too. First things first, though. Going to see how that turns out. Well, it's not my problem anymore. Because <laughs> they're way over there, and I'm over here. So I don't need to worry about anything for now. If it spreads further than that, maybe I'll need to worry. 
just a little. But for now, I need to focus on getting Felon Day taken care of. Need the new leader. I'll have to spend a bit probably to get to the righteous governor that I, I'm really hoping for. But anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying really to expand the reaches of our empire. And we kind of are getting a little further in that. But it's going to take a lot longer than I thought. And it will especially be taking longer if I have to step in and help our buddies there. Considering they started it. I'm not inclined to do that quite yet. But we'll see. For you.